So good afternoon, welcome to So Like a Pro. I'm in the Austin Library in Chicago or on the west side, the great west side, the best side, and we're gonna do a diamond log cabin. So what I did was I sandwiched my fabrics together, that's my background, my batting, and my, uh, it's an under layer. I creased it in the center and in the center, and then I creased my diamond in the center and in the center. So I can line it up exactly in the center. Then I'm gonna pin my centers. And I have my needle position to sew one quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna do black and white on one side and then I'm gonna do colors on the other side. So because this is lined up on a 60 degree angle, we want to stand the top of these up a little past the top because once you stitch it and fold it back, you need to get back to your 60 degree angle. So it's set up at a quarter. I'm going to stitch this at a quarter. I always back stitch. all the way down to my diamond. A few back stitches. This machine is set to always leave the needle down, I believe, so that I want to cut the thread, and then I want to fold this back and finger press it. So, or else you're gonna to have to keep getting up from your machine. Uh-huh, and so here at the end, we need this to fold back on a 60 degree angle. You all see that ladies, 60 degree. You see it's falling straight along this line? Mm -hmm. Then you cut it. Oh. We have to follow the angle, else you're not gonna get it to line back up in the diamond. So this also, we need this to fold up on a 60 degree. So then it's gonna continuously make the diamond. You need that angle. So then I'm gonna do black and white, black and white. Then the other end, I'm gonna do colors. So if you have your salvages on there, we wanna cut those off. And remember, you have to extend past enough to make sure that you are gonna get this next one, the angle is gonna fold back this way mm -hmm. to continue to get the diamond. So you have to stand a little bit past. After you get uh, started doing it, you'll figure out how much you need, how much okay. extra. Because you know we don't like the waste. So we're gonna sew this one all the way down to the diamond, all the way to the very point. Take a peep under there, back stitch, needle up. Is it supposed to be something like that? Yeah, it's just not on there. there. Yeah, it'll be all right. So here, finger press. Don't forget every okay. single time, finger press. This one, I have to fold it back, line it up. Okay. So you can use your ruler if you like, and you can use your ruler and line it up with this line and you take a piece of chalk and mark the line off. Mm -hmm. Then you know for sure that you had the correct angle. Because it's not a square, so it can't be left as a square. I fold this back on a 60 degree. You'd rather be too much than too little. And then we're gonna turn and then we're gonna do the next color. So my next ones I'm gonna do uh, solids. It's too little anyway, you all. I just, now I have the right one. So I wanna line this up, make sure it has to be extra long. If we line it up with the white, cause you know the white is correct. The black might be cut a little crooked, but if we line it exactly up with the white, or take your ruler and draw the line on there and cut it.
finger press, and you get the idea. See it forming the diamond? Mm -hmm. Yes. So again, we're just going to continue to do the exact same thing. I will use my nail to crease that. My next color. And then make a real nice uh, art piece. Or you can continue to do how many squares you want to make a quilt or whatever you decide to do with it. Okay, finger press. We got one diamond made. Now my next will be my black and whites again. All right, so, so like a pro. Mm -hmm. 